In this video, I'm going to tell you how to sit your back with a vertical leg press versus barbell squat so you can avoid surgery. Do I want to sell you something? Of course, everybody wants to sell something on YouTube, but more importantly, I want to prevent this from happening to you. Take a look at this x-ray. And this x-ray isn't just any x-ray, this is my x-ray. And this is my back. These right here are the vertebrae of my spine. These black spaces right here are the disc. And this white line here is the spinal canal or the spinal nerve. Now I wanna show you something. Look down here. This disc, this disc, are squashed pretty much flat. They're a lot they're a lot thinner than these discs right here. They're almost gone. And look right here. Right here. This vertebrae and this disc are almost completely blocking my spinal canal. And what is this is causing is tingling and soreness in the back of my legs from my hips all the way down to the back of my knees. You think this can happen to you? Think again. By the end of this video, you'll have enough information to decide whether or not you want to go to with a vertical leg press or not. But before we do that, go to the comment section, answer this one question for me. Do you do barbell squats now? Yes or no? Very little about me. My name's Clint Grimes. I'm not a bodybuilder or a fitness model. I'm a 59, yes, 59 year old guy who's worked out at home for over 35 years, 22 of those years in this garage right here. Now let's talk about barbell squats. Barbell squats are the lower body bench press. They're a fantastic exercise, but when you do them, everything has to go right. They're very form intensive, so your form's gotta be good. Heavy half squats over time will injure you. Ask me how I know that. You can't overestimate your abilities. If you squat alone, safety measures need to be taken to make sure you don't get hurt. I'd use a power rack or not do it. Uh, it's a lot safer using a power rack, but a power rack does nothing to correct or stabilize your form. There are two ways to hurt yourself as I see it doing barbell squats. Way number one is improper form, including half squats like I mentioned before over time. And way number two is one slip. One bad mistake, one missed spot, one missed rack, and you're done and you have an x-ray like I have. Let's contrast this with a vertical leg press. And here's the vertical leg press that I have in the Niger Rides. It's a Yukon. And uh, vertical leg presses give you a lot of bang for your buck. They're not, that very, not very expensive. And you can see down here, I have padding there for my head. There's padding here for your back. Once you lay back, your form is completely locked in. You have safety pins that you take out to release the weight and you put back in and you're completely safe. The weights go on top. I have standard plates on here. And there's adapters down here that, you, that come with it in case you want to use Olympic plates. Okay, so uh, let's show you a few reps and show you how it works. Okay, we're gonna show you a few reps on a vertical leg press. Um, there is 500 pounds above me. So imagine, even if you're at a gym with a spotter, uh, doing a 500 pound squat or a series of 500 pound squats. And then imagine trying to do it alone in your house. Okay, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push off, I'm gonna pull out the safety pins, and then I'm gonna do a few presses. And when I've reached failure, all I have to do is stick my pins back in, push them straight across, and I'm safe. Now I want you to notice one more thing. Let's say I completely lose control and I can't control this anymore and the weights drop. See right here? This is where it ends. They stop right here. I can still get out completely safely. One more thing I wanted to make sure that you noticed was how my back 
and head were fully supported and locked in. My form was totally locked in. I couldn't change it if I tried. The vertical leg press is a safe alternative to squatting. Well, what's the next thing you need to do? The next thing you need to do is click on this next video over here and watch how you can save your rotator cuff. Like this video if you like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure to share this video with your friends. Save your back. That's it. That's all. See you next time.